Hey guys, I am outside just waiting for my husband to come out the store and I thought I would come and tell you that I have made such good progress in decluttering my home. Now, um, a lot of times when you're trying to declutter your home, you can look at a whole bunch of different videos like you are doing now, but I'm going to tell you, not I don't believe one trick is going to work. I believe first you got to ask yourself, what are you willing to part with? and then get rid of that stuff. Then you gotta ask yourself, what are you willing to sell? And if you can sell it, okay, fine. But if you can't, I wouldn't hold on to it because you gotta remember, if you're willing to sell it, then you're willing to part with it. So I would donate it or let neighbors or friends have it, but I would get it out of my house. The other thing that uh, made my house, I feel like cluttered up, was when uh, you don't see what you already have. Now, for a while, I had a lot of facial creams, a lot of facial creams. And that's all because when I would go out and I would see facial creams, I would buy them because I didn't see what I already had. So when it came down to me really pulling out everything, seeing everything that I had, then I just used the facial creams up all over my body. I had a gang of serums, I had a day, I had a gang of night creams, I had a day, uh, a gang of uh, day creams and night creams and serums. And I said, there's so many of these things and I was trying to store those things. So when I pulled them out and seen everything that I had, guys, I started using that stuff up all over my body. I ran through that stuff in no time. For a matter of fact, I have just one more use of, um, a facial cream that um, I need to buy me some more but this time instead of buying day and night cream I am going to buy one one facial cream that's for day and for night that has all the ingredients that I like like collagen and retinol and, and CoQ10 in it because those are the creams that I like to use so instead of buying those separate jars I'm not doing that anymore I'm going to buy one jar that does what I needed to do okay fine that's another thing that I just got rid of also shampoos and things I leave my shampoos and conditioners in the shower area a lot of times I had them stored in my linen closet and you know you can overbuy then so basically what I'm trying to say to you pull everything out and use it up and don't buy anything else you know, a lot of times you'll see something on sale and you will tell yourself, I will never see this again, so I will buy that. You have to get that under control. I got that under control and man, not only did I save space in my house, but I saved a lot of money doing that. You will be surprised how much money you spend when you tell yourself, oh, I found this on sale. Okay, fine. Another thing that I stopped doing that let up a whole lot of space in my house. You know, a lot of times we'll have a whole bunch of tissues and, and paper towels and, you know, we call ourselves storing that stuff so we ain't gotta go to the store. But guess what, guys? That is what a store is for. Now, if you live a country mile from the store and you have to drive a long way to get stuff, okay, that's, you know, that's something different. But if you close to the store, let the store hold that stuff until you're ready to stock up again. Like I said, we have our bathroom and our son's bathroom, which is also doubles as the guest bathroom. Maybe we will buy 12 rolls of tissue, you know, and as we use them, we use them and we'll probably put maybe three or four rolls in his bathroom leave the rest in our bathroom and as it gets down to the last two rows for each bathroom then we can go buy some more maybe a eight pack um but we don't have just gangs of 12 24 you know 64 rows of toilet tissue in the house and the same thing with paper towels we probably buy a four pack of paper towels and then that's it that's easier to store so all of that room led up in my home then, guys, I started um, just using this one cleaning product that I make myself. And I made a video on that, and it cleans basically everything. And I'm telling you, man, 
that let up so much room under my kitchen sink in my in my laundry room in the bathroom it just let up a lot of room that one cleanser cleans everything and I have a thing that cleans my okay I put it to you like this I have one cleanser that's a multi-purpose cleanser that cleans basically everything in my house from you know the sinks tubs bath everything and then I have a glass cleaner that cleans my glass then I have a cabinet cleaner that you know I use a microfiber cloth and a, a cabinet cleaner to clean my cabinets and I have a floor cleaner to treat my wood floors that is four things that I use to clean my house okay and so all those other different cleaners and things like that I don't use oh then we have the the pods that we use in the um, washing machine and the pods that we use in the dishwasher that is what six things but all those other different cleaners and things like that I have so much room under my bathroom sink under my kitchen sink oh we're not gonna even talk about hair products yes I am so glad that I cut my hair because I had been wanting to do it for a long time. I took the time to find out what products work on my hair and I'm only down to four products that I use on my hair. And um, I don't have all those products and things sitting underneath my bathroom sink and things like that. So I also went through my house and seen all these knickknack patty wax from me buying things that I seen on sale that I didn't think I was gonna run into anymore. So I gave a lot of those things away and I don't have a lot of just things hanging on my walls, sitting on my tables, you know, like candle holders and things. I don't need all that stuff and it cuts down on dust. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to do all that dusting. So guys, when I, oh, we're not gonna talk about comforters. I don't buy comforters anymore. We have, two beds in our home and each bed has like a comforter and a quilt so we can switch them out but when I want to change the look of my rooms I use duvet covers now and the same thing for pillows if I want to change the look of my pillows I use pillow covers now I don't buy gangs of pillows anymore so there's a lot of things that you can do to declutter your house get rid of old Tupperware that don't have the bottoms or the tops to them anymore. Get rid of Mitch Mac plates. Get rid of old medicine. Get rid of old outdated canned goods. Just get rid of a lot of stuff that you don't even use anymore. When you, and I'm gonna tell you this, when you start getting rid of that stuff in your house and you start seeing all the room you have and you see how much, oh, we ain't gonna even talk about towels. You only need a certain amount of towels for a certain amount of people in your home and then guest towels. And then get rid of all those extra towels, all those extra sheets, all those extra comforters, all those extra pillows. Just get rid of all that unnecessary extra stuff in your home. Only buy what you need when you're close to running out of it. And when you start seeing your house clear out, it's going to become addictive. Well, guys, I'm telling you, I am very happy with the space in my home now. I am very, and I, now I am addicted to decluttering. I'm becoming a minimalist now. But guys, I can go on and on and on about this, but I am very happy with how far I have come. So guys, you have reached at It's Regina TV. You know, the little circle at It's Regina TV. So guys, leave down in the comments down below if you wanna hear about other ideas that I have that has helped me basically declutter my home. And guys, until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, love one another, please be kind to one another. Thank you for supporting my channel and I'll talk to you later. Mwah.